Now, last week, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced the company was changing its name to Meta as part of it, and they would now be focusing more on building the Metaverse, which is essentially a completely virtual world. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. I just don't know <laughs> what to make of any of this. Um, Are you really here? It, don't you? I just, it's just, it just <laughs> scares me. I just think we're stepping into this really, really scary virtual world where we'll all it's a sci be... sci-fi movie. It, it is. Is it, it more is. scary because he owns it, Zuckerberg, or are you scared of it just Well, in possibly general? because I know it's powerful and it will definitely happen. Mm. If he's saying this is happening, that means it will. Um, and let's not forget that there's a huge amount of money being made clearly as well mm. here. But this is this is the future and there's elements of it that looks beautiful. There, there are elements of it that are absolutely incredible. But to think an awful lot of it will involve us all sitting in a little room at home not really ever leaving that little room, and yet we feel like we're living in the outside yeah. world. It all just Very scares scary. me a bit. See, I, I, I get that, I do. I think it's scary, but I can't help but think of the application for people who, say, have a disability or a chronic health condition, who can't leave the front door, who might be then given another opportunity to live in a virtual way. And I mean, it's too early for me to say, but I've already benefited from technologies that have been um, innovated to sort of to benefit the wider mankind. So I, w I walked around in an exoskeleton robot, basically, for about, I mean, I, I spent about a year of my life oh, work mm. walking in, there's me with um, Prince William, uh, standing in this exoskeleton robot. Now, that was originally designed to help um, soldiers in war and augment their sort of physical capabilities so that they could run faster or pick things up that were very, very heavy or whatever. But they found that that had an application for people with mobility impairments and it changed my life. It transformed my ability to, you know, really socialise and, and exist in the world. I mean, it had its limitations and the technology is a long way off from being used day to day. But when you look at the virtual metaverse, I can't help but think, I suppose, on the flip side of your fear, what's the opportunity there for people to socialise that might not be able to otherwise, mm. or yeah. go places in the world that might not be able to travel. Yeah, but I absolutely. think that's the thing. I think it used properly, it's brilliant. I think technology is brilliant, but the problem is we always seem to just... I know. Take always, the gets wrong way. always gets abused. Always gets abused and yeah. gets out of control. And then, when, like you said, when does it become where mm. we don't even see each other anymore because we can just virtually come in here? Yeah. Mm. You know, and, and, and that's like that, that. That's the danger, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, this, is, this whole adventure is not for people, this is for profit. So you've got to start questioning how is it going to go wrong, and, and also by rebranding, is Facebook just then all the all its evils just going to get forgotten about? You know mm. the fact that it does have such a negative impact on young people. There's very little regulation, and we all know the problems with Facebook. Or if we don't, we should. Mm -hmm. And is this just a very clever tactic to sort of make us forget about it and think about the excitement of the of the metaverse? Mm. I think I think as you say, there's so many positives to it. Mm. But also, for me, the worrying side would be the social aspect. Yeah. So, I mean, even now, um, and it's in Ireland, actually, um, <clears throat> this thing called Sexiopa, and it's all about vir virtual sex will become a thing. So you will wear a suit, and wherever you are, somebody can trigger responses in the suit to give you a, se <laughs> a sexual experience. I'm doing it to Colleen right now. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> and apparently it's called, and I'm not making this up, it's called Telly Dildonic. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. About, <laughs> gonna go which is about man. sex toys paired Don't with new technology. Don't pretend you haven't got one already. <laughs> it's, it's coming, Carl. Would you do it? Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Really? That fast? Wow. Oh. Um, it's a joy of my life. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I'm saying nothing. I'll get myself into trouble. I'll be all over the papers and I can't be. I'll no. nearly swore. <laughs>